Good morning to you, Margie. Good morning, everyone. This is Ozell's Kitchen here on Del Mar, and you can see this window is smashed out. These two suspects took a crowbar and essentially smashed all of that glass, and they drug an ATM out of the building. Right now, we've got the owner and manager of this family-owned business cleaning up all this glass inside debris as a result of this break in which happened just before five this morning. I want to walk you to just across to the curb because in the process of this ATM getting drug out of that store, this car was damaged in the process. We are told this belongs to someone who lives in this building. So a sad sight to see this morning. I want to get right to some surveillance video where you can see apparently two young men breaking in overnight and they eventually wrap a chain around the ATM and drag it out of the store, but it certainly took some time. In fact, the co-owner of this store, Bobby White, tells me that it took them almost 12 minutes to get in and out when all was said and done and alarms at the store were going off. And it was certainly an ordeal. They, they hammering you're hearing is they are trying to board up this window so they can open this business up here today. But this is Ozell's Kitchen. It's a family owned business and they have filed a police report and given the surveillance video over to police. So they are hoping that a break in the case can be made sooner rather than later. But White tells me they had another break in just last July where someone also tried to take the ATM but was unsuccessful. I hope they got knowledge because to my knowledge, you have to have an internet to get into the machines. But maybe nowadays, you know, don't nobody want to work. It's easy for them to just steal and take from other people. They may have a way to get into the machine. I don't know. This is a family owned business. It's been around for 17 years. It's also a convenience store. They have a kitchen in the back and they're out actually known around town for their honey wings. Someone just came by right before they took this live shot with us and asked if they were going to be open today. And the owner said, not, not right now. We're working to clean all this up, but they certainly do want to open to their customers because this is a beloved staple in the community. If you have any information, you're asked to call St. Louis Metropolitan Police, but they are on this investigation. They have that surveillance video and another co-owner tells me they were able to obtain a license plate number from the suspect. So as soon as we get that, we'll be sure to bring that to you as well. Reporting live here in the West End neighborhood this morning, I'm Laura Simon.